Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on my Sea Tours and Review series. Last week, we were in Bedrock, and the chickens invaded us. Episode 27, Vic the Viking, gave us a seed that was just absolutely brilliant. There's all sorts going on around here. Look, we've got ice, we've got mushrooms, we've got three ocean monuments. If you've not seen it, go and take a look. It's an absolutely brilliant seed. Episode 28, Back to Java, and this one, I'm told, is a cracker. Let's create ourselves our world. That is a seed, but it is in the world name. So come into the seed generator screen here. Pop it in there, otherwise you're going to end up with a random seed and you'll spawn in on a small block of sand and it will be very sad and you'll you'll cry and that's not what you want. So let's get ourselves into this world and see what we've got waiting for us. I'm really excited. I've heard great things. And we have spawned in in what looks like a tiger biome. So that's quite cool. We've got a space above us. So let's get our... Whoop. I like to use stone, you know I do. Let's get ourselves a tower of stone and once we're up there, we can see what's going on. So looking around, we've got an instantly a pillager outpost right in front of us over there across this tiger biome. Going, oh, we've got a mesa. Mesa right next to us. Wow, look at that. That's literally right on top of it. That's fantastic. Uh, out in this direction, looks, looks like we've got some kind of frozen area there. A bit of a frozen savanna or something. We've got some templage going on down there. And yeah, I mean, this is, this is a decent seed already. Hang on. Yeah, and we've got jungle. Yeah. Spawn, jungle, jungle, spawn. Literally, what's going on here? It is an awesome seed. Even though it looks probably the least interesting at the moment, we're going to go in this northerly direction first. So up we come. That pillager outpost is literally right there, which implies there's probably a village not too far away. There very often is a village. You don't often see them without a village nearby. Well, maybe we'll trip over it later. But coming in, is that a flower forest already? That looks like the closest village right there. Is that a flower forest already? Just a little flower biome, or is that just a lot of flowers? I think that's just a lot of flowers. But, uh, so probably plenty of buzzies down here. Let's have a look, see if I can find a buzzy. My my hit rate at finding buzzies is not exactly the most momentous, but you would have thought, statistically, there'd have been a few bees lurking around here somewhere. Can I find them? Ah, oh, bees! Told ya! Bees and a little foxy! Let's continue in that direction because I'm getting distracted again, for goodness sake. Decent sized village on the edge of the plains here. I Can I see? I can't see a blacksmith, which always makes me a little bit sad. He cries. But it's a decent sized village, so you can definitely kidnap some people right on the edge of the plains, which is nice. This could be a nice area to build. It's always difficult to start off in a forest, obviously, because building becomes a bit of a challenge. Unless, of course, you like digging underground and then you're all away. But this is a nice big plains area. I definitely could do something with this. This is cool. Always oh, another village just over there as well. A mountain biome there for all of your mining requirements. Another mountain biome there for all your mountain requirements. So you could basically strip mine across. You'd be all over that. So branch mine, branch mine. And then the tiger just continues on. Is there any more? Oh, that's an interesting little rock formation there. You could do something with that as well, couldn't you? Nice. A little bit further north, we've come across a big old ocean. We've come across loads of shipwrecks, probably about four or five different shipwrecks. But what I really wanted to see here is the fact that we've got a, oh look, there's a little ocean ruin there as well, that we've got some really nice landscape in here. So we've got massive plains there. Big old plains there. We've got birch forest. We've got oak forest. We've got dark oak forest. Uh, we've got mountains to the left there. We've got obviously the ocean to the right. This is actually a really nice area that you could build a superb base come city, come town, come goodness. Only Look, there's a swamp there. We'll talk about that in a minute. We are uh, only 2,300 out in the north. So we've not come very far at all. But we've got a swamp. I just want to check the swamp. You know, I do love a good swamp, me. There's not a lot of open space. It starts to become a wee bit open there. But this area here possibly could lend itself to the slime farm everybody hopes and dreams of in a swamp. Don't see a witch hut. Always disappointing. But I do see a lonely sheep on a single piece of grass. That poor little fella. Back at our post and east is looking extremely interesting. So I'm going to head out this way and see what we can't trip over. Already we've got that shipwreck there. We've got two little ocean ruins there. We've got the jungle coming in. We've got the frozen and we've got ice spikes. Ice spikes right next to frozen, right next to jungle. Okay, a little bit confusing. I'm wondering whether or not Elsa lives there. 
and Anna lives there because it's a little bit like that, and it ice spice. These is such a rare biome, and so to find it so close to spawn is hugely unusual. Really, really interesting. Jungles are so resource rich, and that you you just you're going to be away. If you're spawning near a jungle, you're away, absolutely. You've got bamboo straight away, albeit just one little strand of it there. And you've got a temple, look. Little jungle temple waiting for you to come and utterly pillage. Don't get hit by the arrows. They don't know if hurt. Does the jungle carry on? Have we got anything else exciting in the jungle? Right next to the frozen. Fro literally froze me completely, that does. Now, the jungle went on for about a thousand blocks and it yielded into a giant tiger biome. So look at this, pods are a plenty. Bring a silk touch shovel or a silk touch axe, it works, or a silk touch pick, but loads of pods are there. And oh my goodness, you're gonna have spruce for days. Oh, is that an igloo? Or oh, igloos are fun. Should we just see if we can get anything underneath the igloo? Occasionally underneath an igloo, you can see stuff. And I wonder if this one might be one of those occasions let's just have a look or oh, what maybe it's a boring one. Oh, there's something underneath it i'm excited what we got here what we got here what's going on <gasps> wow look we've got the zombie villager we've got the normal villager we've got this is awesome what's all right what's what's the thing it's uh one one eight seven five forty eight total total luck oh my goodness snowy tiger here as well so i'm looking for what i'm sure i just saw little white foxes i do love that white foxes are so cool where are you i know you're here somewhere they're here i can see him there he is i thought i saw one and a little mate how you do was that your little mate there you got two little mates amazing and just the other side of this uh, snowy tiger biome, we've got a really interesting mountain structure and a huge old um coral reef i mean it's it's a big one and it carries on. I've not actually gone as far as it goes yet. But it's big old lumps of coral there. Big old lumps of coral there. The coral continues over on that side as well. So you can come and get your sea pickles. Come and get your coral. Remember to use a silk touch pick. Otherwise you are going to get grey stuff that just looks a bit dull. But actually it's quite useful for building walls. Back at our stone pillar. And we are southbound right now. And obviously the obvious thing that comes and smacks you right in the bush is this enormous it is big as well it actually is really really big this enormous um mesa by a massive badlands you want to come and get some terracotta you are sorted you need yourself some gold don't you worry about it it's all here we've got just it just carries all oh, the village little tiny village just over there that's the village that is associated with that outpost i knew there'd be one see i'm not going mad but what's quite interesting you've got the um jungle just to the left of it there still because it just continues off look you've got a dark oak forest just the other side of the um, mesa biome so we've got some open mine shafts here that looks like a spider spawner to me there is a lot of cobwebbage right there so you've got an open spider spawner literally out in the open air so that's not going to be doing too much spawning because it's light isn't it so you could build yourself something there with relative ease without actually getting yourself bitten too much uh, the mesa continues on. The jungle wraps around it. And what comes afterwards, though? I'll tell you what comes after it. A tiny little mountains biome. I mean, tiddly, tiddly little mountains biome there. And a bamboo forest sticking itself in the middle of the jungle. I did wonder, with this jungle being quite so large, whether or not there would be a bamboo forest. We've got a little parrot. Hello, little mate. Are you all right? So we must, must, must have a panda or seven in here, surely. I can't see any pandas. And just the other side of that bamboo forest, you can see it's there with a the jungle coming into it. We're at minus 850, 1374. I think I found the place that I would personally decide to build my base right here. You've got oak, you've got birch, you've got dark oak, you've got the mountains, you've got the jungle, you've got the bamboo, you've got some more mountains, you've got plenty of water, and you've got a village just over there in the distance. It's nice and open in this plains area. You can make, I mean, if you imagine you've got a sprawling city that comes edging onto the jungle, bit Mowgli style, bit Jungle Book, and then coming across this way with even more plains that rolls into those mountains with a village on the edge. This is a really nice place to build. So we've done north, we've done south, we've done east. That leaves us with a little bit of west. We've got the pillager tower just to the right of us when we head out west and the village that is associated with it that we saw when we drove a little bit further south. But past that, we've got the mesa that continues kind of round. It wraps around 
from the south into the west. We've got an ocean here. Oh, have I got... It's a double church. This, this fellow's your double church. So you could come to the top of the church and use this as a bit of a raiding village because you can take them out from the top of the church. That's a nice idea. Dark oak on the, right in front of you there. And as I say, the ocean lapping in. Is it an ocean or is it just a, a large enclosed space? Officially, it will be an ocean biome, but it's actually very, very tiny. What carries on further west? Heading out further west, there isn't anything that's particularly like exciting or interesting, but we do have birch forest, we've got another swamp, we've got more plains, we've got more dark oak, so resources are plenty. What I'm really, really confused about is the fact that on our travels, we've not seen a, a desert and we've not seen a savanna either, not in any of the four directions. I might have to pull up a map. Now, I quite like to use Mine Atlas. It gives you a really good feel for what's going on. There is the seed, and we've literally just plugged it in. You don't have to download anything. And look at this biomes. This is where you spawn in. It's pretty close to zero, zero. There's all the frozen area. There's the Tiger Hills. There's that massive jungle. There is the Mesa, and there's the biome diversity as you go out north. It looks pretty cool. Now, let's have a look at where the closest deserts are. They're miles away. You're talking about two, 3,000 um, blocks out in the diagonal, which is insane. If you go two, 3,000 blocks south, you get to desert hills. There is savanna plateaus there as well, but nothing closer. So it's actually quite devoid of sand. That's one negative. Look at how many villages you've got. You've got so many villages in this place. It is absolutely awesome. Jungle temples, yeah, there are a number. And look, we've got more jungles out here as well. The extremes of this, we're only going out to about 6,000 blocks. So it's not like this is unexplorable in any way, shape or form. Witch huts. Yeah, there's a few witch huts. Go out in this direction and you'll find them. Ocean monuments. How about that? Do you think that's enough? Enough ocean monuments there. Desert temples. Yeah, we've got a few of those as well. So you could go for those. And slime chunks, unsurprisingly, absolutely covered in them. It is time for us to delve into the depths of the earth. So spoiler alert, I'm about to go under the ground and if you don't want to see what's going on there, you best turn away now and go and watch one of my other videos. So we're going under, I'm not starting to count yet, but in three, two, one, I just about made it. And we've actually got a big ravine literally just underneath us. That is the roof and my feet were probably just a few blocks away from that cracking ravine that that's lovely but what's really important here is we've got a good decent sized is it is it decent sized yeah i think it is pretty decent sized mine shaft here across a number of levels you could even argue that's two mine shafts should we call that two mine shafts for the sake of uh, it looking more impressive. Yes, let's do that. So two mine shafts. We've got your cave spider spawner right there, which is fabulous. You've got plenty of chests to be able to go and loot. This is a decent explore. There is also a zombie spawner right there. Fairly decent. We like that. Just a few blocks away from that one over there, we've got another mine shaft with another spider spawner right there. We've got something going on over here. Looks like another spider spawner right there. This one's quite a decent sprawling mine shaft as well. It goes for, for days in every direction by the look of it. Is this the same mine shaft? Let's call that the same mine shaft. Otherwise, it would just be insane. And yeah, lots of ravines as well as you start to come under the ocean. But also at the same time, plenty of digging space for you to be able to do some branch mining. So you've kind of got the combo of everything. Time to go interdimensional now. There's our stone pillar. So I've just got myself a portal here. Crack on that and let's see what's the other side. And as we come to the other side, always check up to check you've not got lava about to drop on your head. We are lava free, so it is a safe drop. However, we have got some fairly significant ravinage, etc. nearby. So exploration. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to be like. Let's just have a quick walk in this direction. It might be okay. We might have got away from it. You're going to be relatively gas protected, although be aware that gas are going to spawn here and they will see you if you're not careful. But actually, no, you can walk without too much trouble in most directions. So that's quite good. However, where is the nearest fortress? I don't even need to ask. It's right in front of us. It's only gone and over there, look. Right over Arva as well. That's beautiful. But I'm quite interested to see the size of this thing because it seems to be quite big. Let's have a look and see what we can find inside. There's a blaze spawner hidden away right in there, which is good. But I, unsurprisingly, oh, there's another blaze spawner just there. Want to know where my fungus is. This fortress is massive. 
And by massive, I mean, like, it's huge. I, I know I say it every time, but I don't think I've seen a fortress this big ever. It's like, it's insane, the size of this thing. It's huge. That's because I can't go down that bit. It's blocked off. Lots of blocked off passages, making it quite difficult. I actually had to dig through some wall to access another part of this to be able to get to the wall. But it is here. It is here. You can see. Look. Hello. I'm here. I'm here. This seed could be one of my favourites because, frankly, it's got everything you need, isn't it? It's got so much. You've seen how many ocean monuments there were in that map. That's insane. All that biodiversity and some great places for you to be able to build as well. Really great seed. So I want to say thank you to Reddit user JRCV14. Thank you so much. That is an absolutely brilliant seed. I'm really, really glad you shared it with me. It's very, very good. And I hope lots of people get a lot of joy from it. If you've got a really great seed, whether it is for Java, for Bedrock, it doesn't matter. Let me know by sending it on an email to avamantsminecraft at gmail.com. That is avamantsminecraft at gmail.com. Let me know why it's so good. Maybe send me an emits map. Maybe send me some coordinates, a little bit of annotation. It'll be good to know what it is I'm about to look at. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.